Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous video, we have seen a theoretical point of view of position embeddings. In this video, we will make our understanding a bit more solid and we will implement it using PyTorch. Okay, so not necessarily we will implement it in PyTorch, but uh, we will use NumPy as a base. And then when we try to use it in uh, actual implementation of transformer, we need to convert these into a tensor okay but uh, for the time being we will use numpy as a base uh, uh, library okay so we have seen like uh, these are the formulas for uh, position embeddings for uh, even and odd positions for for even positions we take sign of this uh, value which is position uh, uh, position upon 10000 to the power 2i upon dimensionality of the model and for odd positions, we take cosine of uh, this value. Okay, so let us dive in and implement it uh, using Python. So we will simply say, let us say um, we have the model dimension is equal to 32. And let us say we want to implement it for positions of max 100. Okay, so here we are saying like uh, the the embedding of uh, model are the word embedding of the model is uh, of 32 dimension and max position uh, the model would be able to handle is 100 okay so these two are the parameters and now we will uh, simply run a for loop on positions and uh, we will try to find out uh, fix i so here we have like uh, i is ranging from uh, 0 to uh, the number of uh, dimensions are the dimensionality of the position embedding that we want to have and uh, uh, for the sake of uh, simplicity we will uh, try to uh, implement each i separately okay so let us say i2 which is uh, nothing but we will take i is equal to 2 and we will simply say we will create a list of lists okay so here we can say for position in range so we will say 0 to position let us rename it max position so that this won't conflict max positions okay And what we will do here is we will simply uh, compute this part position upon 10,000 to the power 2i uh, upon dimensionality of the model. Okay. And uh, to do so, we will use numpy dot power. Okay. Numpy dot power, which is like 10,000 to the power 2 into. Let us say i2 is equal to 2. Okay. So we will call it 2. And then we need divided by dimensionally of the model. Okay. So this is like uh, for all positions, we have this. Uh, uh, this uh, denominator in this uh, formula okay and then we simply uh, divide it by the position and that's what we will do so what we will do is we simply say position upon okay now we have like uh, the values that we need to pass through the sine or cosine okay so this is especially i2 we are saying uh, uh, even number so it will be sine uh, uh, Wave, okay. So it should be position. Okay, so that we have now. Let us pass it to um, sign uh, function, and we will get the we will get the position embeddings for i is equal to two. Okay, so let us do that as well. So let us say sign i2 is equal to 
np dot sign and we will simply pass i2 okay let us rename it to like position embeddings i2 so that it will be more explanatory itself okay position encodings i2 okay now let us print uh, what we have here sign i2 and also let us print sign i2 dot save okay so let us run and see what it looks like so as it is like uh, 100 uh, positions so it is like 100 different uh, values and it is just one i value so we have uh, one here so as many i's we will have those many goes in the second dimension okay now let us uh, plot it so what we will use we will use matplotlib so let us import so we will import matplotlib dot plot as plt and we will simply plot it okay we'll use a plt dot plot and we will simply need to have the x which is nothing but uh, range 0 from x positions we will pass x and y we have is this sin i2 okay also let us add a label here label is equal to f let's say i is equal to i 2 okay and uh, let us say plot dot x label so x are like we have position or let us say token position and y we have position encodings Okay, and we we'll simply say plot dot legend so that it will show us what are the the what are these labels, and then we we'll simply say plot dot show. Okay, and that's all. So let us run and see the graph. So you see we have very nice graph for i is equal to 2 okay and we have c it will show here like what is the value of i okay so you can see like uh, it is uh, more or less similar to this where we are saying no not this but this one okay so we plotted i is equal to 2 so it should be this one and i is equal to 0 we can plot that as well definitely but uh, we will go to like i is equal to 2 4 and 6 so that it will look a bit uh, more uh, better in a sense so let us do that as well so for that we will simply do so let us comment this out actually and what we will do is we will simply copy these lines and paste again and here we can say i is equal to 4 and we'll simply change this here and let us call it i and here we will have sign i4 and let us do one more thing is i6 we have three eyes i6 
six. Okay. So now let us add these plots as well in this. So we have x would be the same, and then this will change to i four, and here we need to say i four, and again we will say sine i six, and here we will have six. Okay, so we have plotted now three i values on it. Now let us run and see it. So as the as the value of i is increasing, so the the wavelength is kind of also increasing in proportion. Okay. So when we try to uh, sample the position embeddings, we simply sample from these uh, different uh, waves, sine waves and cosine waves. In this, we only plotted sine waves, but uh, in actual position encoding, we will have uh, even values uh, are sine waves and odd values are uh, cosine waves. Okay, so that's how uh, it looks like. Um, in the next video, we will uh, implement it uh, more properly, and also we will see like how it differs uh, relative positions. So it has the property of this uh, relative positions, like uh, the the positions which are near near the cosine similarity in between would be uh, lower, whereas the positions which are distant they will be kind of uh, quite distant if we do the similar team is around there on those okay so in this video we will stop here in the next video we will talk a bit more about position embeddings so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next